We are underway in Winston-Salem as Old Dominion will start with the Rock at their own 25-yard line. Third and five for the Monarchs. Mack looking left over the middle. Got a man. The pass is dropped. And it'll be a quick three and out for ODU on the road. We get our first look at Ethan Dwayne, the punter out of Melbourne, Australia. Sends it high to Taylor Marin, who fields it and makes one man miss. Marin, an all ACC caliber punt returner, sets up Wake Forest around the 30 yard line. Czar Terry and Johnson make the stop there, number 21 for ODU. Third and short for Wake Forest. Hartman with all day, loads up and lets it fly down the middle. Decent amount of contact there, but no flag is thrown. Looking for his man, Ja'Cory Roberson. Back on the give, it's three straight runs for Elijah Davis, and he has the first first down of the game for ODU. They've got a transfer from Maryland, Tyron Hunt, at left guard. Another handoff, and again, it's Davis. So four carries in a row for the Monarchs, keeping it on the ground and move the sticks again. ODU in Wake Forest territory. They're one for two on third down. Picked up a third and two earlier this drive. Back on the give. This time it's Blake Watson. Brought down right near that line to gain. Back in the gun once again. Watson is the tailback. He gets the give, and it's going to be close. And I don't like going for it on fourth and inches when you're in the shotgun. Why? Wait for us to for one on third down today. Another run for Wake Forest, and Beal Smith has lots of green grass in front. Beal Smith to the house, and Wake Forest strikes first in 2021. Playing in front of the hometown crowd from East Forsyth High School right here in Winston-Salem. And the hometown kid makes it seven zip deeps. Back surveys, he's got Paige this time. And a nice tackle by Jasir Taylor, the captain cornerback for Wake Forest. Taylor Marin back to receive for the Demon Deacons. On his second return of the season, a flag flies. Marin makes a few men miss and takes it all the way to the 50. Build them from being good to great. And they lost a lot last year with the time off that they could not work out. And he thinks that had a negative effect on them as a ball club. Wake Forest starts with a read option there. And it gets blown up. Ja'Cory Roberson, the target, makes the catch. But Trey Hawkins, the third, makes him wish he had it. And a great job by the defense right now. They didn't get fooled. You see, if that's what you want to do if you're older man, you want to come up. Wake Forest has looked to throw on the first two plays of this possession. Coming in 66 of their 69 total yards on the ground. Now they go back to the air. Roberson open over the middle, and Hartman finds him. First down, Deeks. Got immediate pressure right there, number three with the blitz. But he stood tall. He had confidence in his offensive line. And the freshman safety. Hartman in the gun. Hands it off again. It's Justice Ellison. Two straight carries for the freshman out of Virginia. And he's right at midfield and close to a first down. He gives you a Le'Veon Bill type of stuff. You see the patience again. This time he's swarmed by Monarchs right past the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up fourth and short for Wake Forest. Tight end Blake Whitehart in motion. Ellison keeps it. That's going nowhere. Trey Hawkins, the third, blows it up right on top of the W, and it's ODU football. So that is exactly what you want your defenders to do. Trey Hawkins did exactly what you want them to do. Go to the ball carrier. You don't expect him to throw the football. Back on second down and 10. The give is to Elijah Davis, and he's got plenty of space to run. Past the 30 and near the 25 of Wake Forest, a huge rip for ODU. Weaver, Hunt, you see those guys moving bodies, playing with a low center of gravity, and you see the ability for Dave. Player on the team, that's a 31-yard burst for the Monarchs. This time, Mack juggles the snap, and he's brought down immediately. Yeah, the Boogie Basham, one of the best players in Wake Forest history, just went in the second round to the Bills. Here's Mack on third and long. ODU one for four on third down, make it one for five, as there's Miles Fox, whose name we're going to say a whole lot today. Number 11 says it's fourth down. 
38-yard field goal attempt for Nick Rice, the senior kicker out of St. Petersburg, Florida. He splits the uprights, and Old Dominion is on the board for the first time this season. So Old Dominion, after they get on the board, kicks it off to Wake Forest and Jasir Taylor on the kick return. First one we've seen today. Makes a couple of moves, and Taylor is out clear. Jasir Taylor down the sideline. He could go. Jasir Taylor all the way to the end zone. 99-yard kick return. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Well, there are several things. Right now, you break tackles and you keep balance. Right here, he breaks the tackle and he's able to keep his balance and get to the outside. Now, once he gets to the outside, watch number nine. Number nine is running with him and he makes a key block right there. That key block did not allow the ODU defender to get to the sideline, which would have forced him back to the inside where pursuit was coming from. But once again, that cut to the outside is key in the balance. Those are the little intangibles that you need to be successful, especially on kickoff return, because there's so many bodies flying around the field. But a great job by the convoy of Wake Forest players running down the field, giving him lead blocks. And a 99-yard kick return touchdown from Jasir Taylor. And they're up two scores. DJ Mack again on third down, looking to throw. He's got his man, and it's a first down for ODU. That's Jordan Bly. First time we've said his name. Davis again alongside Mack on second down and one. He gets the call one more time. And this time Wake Forest is all over. Old Dominion is one for six on third downs today. It's Davis again, and this time he's got enough to move the sticks. That's what you have to do when you're playing against a fast-paced offense. Back looking to throw. Pressure comes from Suleiman Kamara. Over the middle. Incredible one-handed pick. Travion Reed, the sixth-year senior. There is a flag on the play. For now, Travion Red's got a highlight that's going to last forever. You see Matt try to get to the outside. First of all, you see the holding right there. You see Matt get to the outside. Now, right now, if you don't have anything, you can't throw it across your body because you've got a whole bunch of defenders coming towards you, towards that side of the football field. They're not necessarily running the plays extremely fast, but they're staying and lining up at the line of scrimmage. Deeks two for four on third down coming in. It's Turner again, and he's got enough yardage for the first. Hartman in the gun. Hartman loads up, lets it fly, caught, touchdown, A.T. Perry for six. Another touchdown. Perry just basically said, I'm faster than you, I'm going to run down the field and let Hartman lead me. And that's something he didn't do on the previous play, but he led him on that play. If he runs a post corner route, he doesn't have outside leverage. So you've got to pick and choose, and hopefully you pick the right one, and he did on that play. Second down and 10 for ODU. Elijah Davis going nowhere. Chase Jones on the stop for Wake Forest. After not playing last year and having a new coaching staff. Third and long, Mack looks to throw over the middle. Can't find his man, Dante Anthony Jr., the tight end. And it's another punt coming up as Nasir Greer is there to make the hit and break up that pass. Greer 6 0 2 one He won that bat. Way now to punt again. This is high, and it is short. It's going to go out of bounds on the ODU sideline, and Wake Forest will have it with great field position. Bill Smith again gets the call. He's dangerous on the outside. Flag on the field, and he's brought down for a loss. Hawkins again on the stop, but we'll see what the flag is. Watch number 50, the left tackle. You see him right there. You've got to let him go. You cannot grab outside of the shoulder pads because the referees are going to call that. Ivan Mora back out to punt for Wake Forest. Deep to receive Roger Cray. Let's it go, and the Demon Deacons down it inside the 10-yard line. I want to see them go. Uh, I want to see DJ Mack be more of a playmaker. I want to see him get outside the pocket. I think that's where he's, he can be more effective against this Wake defense, is getting outside the pocket, because what that does is that influences the defenders. Again, the play clock dwindling. Down to two when Mack finally gets the snap. Pressure comes. Mack lets it fly, looking for his tight end, Zach Coots. And it is broken up by Kalen Carson. 
Hawkins. Ethan Dwayne again to punt. Last time it was a 23-yarder. Gave Wake Forest great field position. Taylor Marin is going to return this one. Takes a second. Makes a few men miss. And again, he's into ODU territory. Thanks, Abby. Things going well for Sam Hartman. For the other Sam, Sam Howell struggling a little bit. UNC in Blacksburg tonight. Hartman this time has got a man. And it's a first down to guess who? Ja'Cory Roberson. Hartman looks to pass again. This time he lets it fly down the sideline. Lots of contact. And here comes the flag. Trey Hawkins on the coverage there. Hartman was looking for the freshman Jamal Banks, 6'4", 208. Turner gets the call with some room up the middle. Jumps through a tackle and is brought down after a solid gain on first down. On third down and four, Hartman looks to throw. He's got a man. Nice catch on the sideline by Donald Stewart. First down, Deeks at the six-yard line. Hartman in the shotgun with Turner to his right. Hartman to throw. Toward the corner of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Ja'Cory Roberson. Welcome to 2021. Well, a good job by Hartman right there, locating his receiver and throwing it up where he can make a play on it. When you've got six foot one going against five foot eight, you've got a four or five inch differential right there. And you see the defender never had a chance to try and knock the ball down. A good job by Roberson squeezing the football and keeping it away from the defender who was trying to knock it out of his hands when he got possession of the football. from the shotgun it's another give this time some room to run for Watson and he's got the first down out past the 40 Kobe Davis on the stop for Wake Forest might see them have to start throwing though. they do have three timeouts back from the gun right to Jasir Taylor Taylor could have another big play on his hands he's got the kickoff return for a touchdown already tonight he's got blockers in front Jasir Taylor brought down inside the 10 yard line So right here, I don't know what, maybe he didn't see Taylor. Taylor was underneath the receiver, and it just looked like Matt maybe did not see him. And you see Kalen Carson, if he stays attached to that play and stays attached to that block, he may be going in for the score. 47-yard return for Taylor. Demon Deacons on the doorstep. Beal Smith gets the call, looking for a second touchdown tonight. It's going to be tight right on top of the goal line. With his fellow running back Justin Ellis, Justice Ellison to his left. Bill Smith gets the direct snap. Goes airborne. He stonewalled. Second effort. No dice. Jordan Young on the first push. He makes contact with Bill Smith and Old Dominion. Maybe a little momentum going into the locker room. Into this offense, he has to have a better half this second half if they're going to compete and be in this ball game. And a lot from the sidelines to start, though, and Jordan Young throws down Sam Hartman violently. One thing you don't want to see as an offensive tackle is a six foot four, six foot five, two thirty, two forty defensive end. Now they ran a stunt on that play. He came from the inside and looped around. Great defensive production with the two INTs, but the one thing we have not seen is a sustained drive by the Wake Forest offense. Third and sixteen. Hartman's got his man on the money. It's At Perry first down. Deeks. Got to knock the ball down. You've got to have a play on the football. You've got four pass rushers, seven back in the coverage. With the shake when he's on the day. you got to hand it to him. He's a great actor. He did sell it. It's first and ten for Wake Forest. Sam Hartman looking to evade the rush. Can't do it. He's brought down to the backfield by Amori Morrison. And we see what a miraculous recovery from Deep Harris on the sideline. For 12 men on the field, they went with it. With their Jedi much. <laughs> We're just glad to see he's okay as Hartman loads up and lets it fly. Roberson was there but couldn't track it down. And it'll bring up fourth down and 15 for Wake Forest. Got to think they won't have such a big advantage in terms of speed. Absolutely. Against some of the ACC teams. As Ivan Mora out to kick it away. On the return, it's Roger Gray for Old Dominion. And the senior out of Florida. They are caged so far. DJ Mack is 3 for 12 for 10 yards. He's got to throw on third down and seven. 
He's got a man. That's Ali Jennings, the third, who hauls in his first reception of the day and a couple of drops in the first half. But that's good for a first down for Old Dominion. Repetition against live action. Looking to link up with Cornell Hendrick Jr. that time. And on the run on third and four, Blake Watson is stuffed. Mack in the gun with Watson to his left. Mack looking over the middle. He's got his man. Can't find Page. It's too high. And Wake Forest takes, takes over on downs for the second time tonight. Justice Ellison had a great quote in the offseason for us. He said he didn't want to get lost in the sauce in this backfield rotation. He's losing defenders in the sauce right now. He looks great as he picks up a first down. Another first down for Wake Forest. Again, it's Ellison again with room to run. Bigger part that was second down. Now it is first down as they move the chains and forced to build on that just from four plays. Absolutely, and those were big plays. And you love the big play. But like we talked earlier, you've got to show sustained ability to drive the football down the field because you're going to face better talent as you get into the tough ACC schedule. What you want to do is get the ball to your athletes in the open field and allow them to be played with. That was a 13-yard game. And first down, it's Ellison again making more men miss. And it's Wildcat again with Bill Smith in the shotgun. He didn't score in the first half from this set. He stonewalled again, but on the second effort, Beal Smith is in for six. Six yards, and the last one goes to number one, Christian Beal Smith with a second touchdown of the night. If there's one thing we know about Isaac Weaver, it's that he loves to talk. Here's Mack on another screen pass out to the running back, Elijah Davis, who picks up the first down. Now, Isaac Weaver, the sixth-year captain, left tackle on that offensive line. Back under fire. The heat is on. Gets rid of it. The running back, Watson, tried to bring it in. That will be an incomplete pass. That's really cool stuff, Abby, and I think that's – it takes a lot of strength from Sam Hartman to go ahead and say that, and that's really cool. As Hartman loads up and fires and finds to Corey Roberson, his favorite target last year and so far tonight. He says he knows that mark and wants it. Second down and six for Wake Forest with Young off the field. Taylor Marin is open, and his sure hands bring it in for another Wake first down. At Wake Forest, a red shirt, a COVID year, still a freshman. Hartman fires. Marin's open again. This time in the end zone. It's broken up at the last second, but two flags fly, and Damian Charity is going to get caught red-handed. Hartman in the gun. The give goes again to Christian Turner. Not going anywhere. Ball scores free. Looks like the Monarchs jumped on it. I think he was down. I think they might have blown it dead. Looks like Turner just got some news he didn't like. Yeah, let's see if he's down. I think he's down. No, he was on top of the uh, offensive player. I mean, yeah, the defensive player, right. so he's not deemed down yet. So if they didn't blow it dead with forward progress, that's going to be Old Dominion football. And here comes the Monarchs offense. Yeah, because his shin didn't go down. It's... He's that fast. Now he lines up in the slot. Back the quarterback. Here comes Smart. He gets the handoff around the right edge. And he falls forward for a first down. Elijah Davis in the backfield next to Mack. Mack looks to throw. Evades the rush. He's got a man. That's the tight end, Zach Koontz. Near the first down marker, and they'll move the sticks again. Reporting that Blake Watson has gone to the injury tent. ODU starting running back. It's Elijah Davis back there along with Mack and Smart on the jet sweep. That's going nowhere. Jasheen Davis blows it up in the backfield. Going for any ball fix. They're just coming straight up the field. And they're playing great assignment football. No idea what was coming from this ODU offense. There was no film to watch from last year. On third down and 15, Max got a throw. Wake Forest can pin their ears back. And again, it's Davis in on the tackle. And the left tackle did a poor job on that play, keeping his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage. Taylor Marin back to receive for Wake Forest. It's another short one off the right foot of Ethan Dwayne. 
Goes out of bounds near midfield. So more great field position. Hartman on second and five, looking to throw. Flush from the pocket, rolling to his left. Finds Perry, first down Wake Forest. And the season opener in Deep Town, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Sam Hartman in the shotgun. The kick goes to Christian Turner, the Michigan transfer, who's got green grass in front and is inside the 30-yard line. That was the second catch for Williams. Seven different Demon Deacons have a catch tonight. Wake Forest is 5 for 11 on third down. Make it 6 for 12 as A.T. Perry has another conversion. And it's first down and goal once again for Wake Forest. Two wide to the right, one to the left. Hartman looks to throw on first down. Wide open man in the end zone. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Keyshawn Williams, the freshman out of Philadelphia. First career touchdown. Your quarterback breaks to the outside as a receiver. You want to run the same way your quarterback is running. You see the defender fell down and the receiver was wide open. Here on ACC Network, thanks so much for spending some of your Friday night with us. We're glad to have college football back. Nick Skiba on the kickoff for the Demon Deacons. Stone Smart on the return, the former quarterback for Old Dominion. And check out the wheels on the former QB out to the 40-yard line. Back on the field, it's Hayden Wolf in at quarterback for Old Dominion after DJ Mack got the start and played the first three quarters. Wolf on the give to Elijah Davis. It's pretty impressive what this Wake Forest defense has done, and they had no idea what was coming at them with this Old Dominion team that was a total mystery. It's a bubble screen near the first down marker. Stone Smart, Mr. Do It All. Fourth and four, it's Hayden Wolf alone in the backfield. Wolf to throw, here comes the heat. He's got a man a little high for Raphael McCoy, and it's another turnover on downs for Old Dominion. Travion Red in there. We saw Sam Hartman talking with Ja'Cory Roberson, two guys who make this Wake Forest offense go. Rivis rolling, long roll. Pass incomplete on third down. Ivan Mora, retro freshman out of Georgia, back to kick it away for the Demon Deacons, and Roger Cray back to receive for the Monarchs. High spiraling kick, pushes Cray back inside his own 15, makes one man miss, and that's all. He's now not only the starting quarterback, but he surpassed him in what he was able to do during his great career here at Wake Forest University. Aiden Wolf still in the game for ODU. Pass complete to Javon Harvey for a first down. The opportunity to be start, be the starter for this offense. Third down and ten for Old Dominion. Wolf's pass is complete across the middle. Drew Carter, Forrest Conley, Abby Labar, happy to be with you for the 2021 college football season. Wayne puts his right foot into it. It's a low bullet spiral. Keyshawn Williams, the return man for Wake Forest, it goes right to him. And the freshman out of Philly makes one man miss and is brought down around the 27-yard line. Well, the early schedule is favorable for them. They've got Old Dominion now that they're playing. They'll play Norfolk State next, which should be another win for them. Then they have Florida State coming in. We don't know what type of team Florida State will be this season. I think we'll get a better gauge of what type of team Florida State will be. Wake Forest, first and maybe second string, good enough to compete with them. Now it's just about establishing more depth on this roster. More on to kick it away. Roger Cray on the return all the way back to his own 20-yard line. Now he's got ahead of steam. Cray past the 40. Solid return for Roger Cray all the way to the 45-yard line. Again, it's Hayden Wolf, the backup quarterback, after DJ Mack really struggled tonight. ODU as an offense has struggled a lot as that pass is complete over the middle to Jordan Bly, freshman wide receiver. They just thought it was cool to keep it all in-house, and guys, I'm impressed they did it. Yeah, zero leaks on this Old Dominion team. That is discipline. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you talk about discipline. If these Old Dominion players, they have girlfriends, and the girlfriends asked, were they not allowed to tell them? And then did they end up in the doghouse? It's a brotherhood, Drew. It's a tough position to be in as Jordan Bly makes the catch. I'm saying you're either in the doghouse with your coach. Wolf on second down and one from the gun. Floats it over the middle. Catch made. Again, it's Stone Smart. So Smart struggled as a quarterback in 2019. Just one touchdown and six picks. 
Wolf on first and goal from the nine. Floats it, got a man, wide open, touchdown Old Dominion. That's Isaiah Spencer, the six foot five tight end. So finally, Forrest, we see those tight ends. You've been clamoring for it. Get those tall guys involved, and they do for their first touchdown. Really, really good. Watch the touch on this pass. He allows his receiver to break open, and he puts just the right amount of touch on it. He doesn't throw it too far. Against FSU, not to go on a sore spot here for you, but he came in and he basically won that game. The backup quarterback will be utilized at some point in the season. Absolutely. We know the Wake Forest schedule is tough and will not lighten up as they enter ACC play. Kelly on the give on third and nine. That's Amani Marshall. Kelly on the give one last time to Marshall. Clock expires as he runs out of bounds, and Wake Forest puts a bow on a season-opening, convincing victory over Old Dominion.